Okay boys, so at the moment what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to work out the measurements for this praying mantis. So what I do is I measure parts of the body. So I measured the head and I worked out how many heads are going to go into this part. So one, two more or less and a little bit on the end. So you can see here I've done this part and I'm coming into here. To get this part here I measured from there to there and I worked out that it's halfway. So halfway to there and then halfway again it's got this wing part here. Now I'm going to draw that part of the front of the praying mantis. So if I measure this bit that I've already drawn again and I measure there, they're pretty much the same size. So I would make a little mark and then I'm going to go ahead and draw that section. Now I'm only doing a line drawing because I don't want anything else except for the details of the body. I don't want to have any shading or anything for this particular activity because this is a drawing for my sculpture. Okay, so if we have a look at that bit there, that's slightly longer. So there, there, slightly longer, probably about there, okay? So now I'm going to draw that section there and I'm going to draw this section over here to there, okay? Next section I'm going to do is from here to there, from there to there is that size, okay? So probably to about here. Now, I could be a lot more accurate, but because this is a sculpture and it's really about um, the whole look and the design, I'm not being too fastidious. Having said that, I want it to be relatively in scale. So knowing that these lines here will end up being bits of wire. Okay, the next thing is this leg here. Probably about the same size as this section here, the first part, it's only tiny. So around about there. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna get some more of this abdomen. So there's a sort of triangle shape there. Then it comes out. Another shape there. Then we start on the leg. The leg's not too long, guys. Okay, another section. So you can see how I'm working out each section. I'm trying to measure. I'm trying to be relatively accurate. Okay, so that part of the leg, there, round about there. Section there, coming up, section there. The next leg is going to be a little bit easier. It's going to come there. Just simply repetition to there. Okay, the next bit, this part here. The bottom of the leg, about the same size as maybe that section there, so, and I'll go to about there. All right, so now I've got these skinny parts of the legs there, and I've got another section that comes to here, and then there's these parts that go to where the feet are, little knobbly bits. Okay, because I've already got my measurement, it's going to be pretty easy to now work out where to put this part. Little section there, knobbly bit there, drawing there, goes to there. Okay, now I've got the front part of the prey mantis. Obviously there's going to be two of these arms when I do my wire sculpture, I'll just repeat these shapes. Then I've got this leg and I've just drawn this one because I want that one to be in a slightly different position. I would like my wire sculpture to be able to stand. Okay, so now coming down, I've got to work out where this next leg starts. So is it sort of in the middle? So if we go section, section, it's essentially where that section is. So I'll just do that again, double measure. It's round about there, so here, here, that's where that leg's starting, okay? So I'm not just trying to draw it without doing any measurements, I'm really figuring out where everything sits. And of course then we've got the bottom here of the abdomen, just underneath the wing. And it doesn't matter if I overlap, guys. 
okay? So this arm here is going to come down from there. So I've made that measurement. I know that there's one leg that's coming here and it's gonna look a bit weird because that's coming out the other direction. When I do my wire sculpture, I'll really think about those sorts of things. And you can see that it's slightly out of focus. So that's because that leg is further away and the camera's not quite seeing it. But this bottom leg is pretty much, whoop, this bottom leg is pretty much on there. Okay, so bottom leg there. Same thing, it'll be these funny little segments. And I'll get this leg here. Coming down. Now this leg comes up and over to round about. Let's just measure. Let's measure against this one again because it's a pretty good guide. Comes up and over to there. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my little leg come up. That's this section over there. As I said, see how I'm overlapping over that part there? That's okay, remember this is gonna be wire. You will see through the body. That's the fun part about wire. You can see the structure and I love that. It's kind of like a line drawing, but in wire. And then I'm gonna come down here and I will get my foot. Great, okay. So now I have a line drawing that is going to be the side. I'm also gonna do one from above. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can work out what it's gonna look like from above when I'm actually putting the wire together. Okay, so I've got two separate.